Hey everyone, welcome to B2B on this awesome Wednesday. I'm Joey Penn. And I'm Lisa Liebson. We have a great show for you all today, including some information about the Operation Breakthrough Citywide Food Drive, so stay tuned. Yes, and we now to go on to some announcements. Tomorrow there is a lunch at 11.45 for new middle school students. This lunch will be held in the library meeting room. Picture retakes are Thursday, October 10th from 8 to 10 in the upper school library. Please email Mrs. Fulbright if you have any questions. The Middle School Ice Cream Social is also on October 10th, from 3.15 to 3.45. Lower School Grandparents Day is October 11th from 8.30 to 10, so students, make sure you park by the baseball fields to give, spots for, to give more spots available for families. So, tell me what, I love Grandparents Day. I wish I would have been here for Lower School. You know, I wish I was here in Lower School, too. I wish I could have brought Papa Jean to see everyone and hang out with me all day. So, Lower Schoolers, I hope you have a great day and have a lot of fun. Sweet. And just in case there's some grandparents out there that can't make it, we at BTV will be live streaming the event. So if your grandparents can't make it, make sure they log into the live stream. So Joey, how's Spanish Five going this year? It's going really, it's going really well. I mean, you know, I think I'm going strong. We have a really great class, five great kids, and I really like it. You know, I'd have to agree with you. Spanish is a great language, and lots of students at Barstow agree. Check out this story by my co-anchor Joey on Mesa. For ejemplo, llamas a otro. Mesa Española is a chance for students to practice their Spanish. Um, a lot of students come just for the extra credit. Um, we give extra credit, but I, my hope is that they will practice their Spanish in an environment that's with their friends and they're not getting corrected, they're not getting graded, and hopefully it is fun. Okay, it's L -E -A Mesa Española, it's a lot of fun. You can sit around talking Spanish, listen to Spanish music sometime, learn some new stuff about different kind of cultures, you know, just just chill for real, you know. It's a good time, get some extra credit for Spanish class, I mean, why not? Mesa in Spanish means table, so during Mesa, we all go to Profe's room and we sit around these tables and we talk with everyone else in Spanish. And some, some weeks she'll have a topic for us to talk about, like it might be um, short videos or just something um, that should get more people interested and involved and hopefully um, the more you can laugh at yourself, the easier it is for you to make a mistake and then the easier it is for you to communicate more. I always love Mesa. It's a great time, get some good food, and discuss a lot of stuff in Spanish. Yeah, I love it because we get to hang out with some of the other kids in Spanish that we don't usually see. So. Get some extra credit. Yeah, Spanish extra credit is always a good deal, so thank you, Profe. The PSAT test will be administered to all sophomores and juniors on Wednesday, October 16th at 7.30 in the dining hall in Brookfield Gym. Please be on time, and remember to bring number two pencils along with the calculator. Oh, the good old PSAT. <sighs> So I remember the night before the PSAT, I was pretty nervous and I didn't sleep very much. So I would suggest to all the sophomores and juniors, just take a deep breath, get some good rest, and you'll do fine. Get a good breakfast too. That yeah, helps. breakfast. So. Volunteers are needed for Friends of the Johnson County Library Big Fall Book Sale at Medcalf South Shopping Center. It takes place on November 7th through the 9th. Please email Ms. Zimmerman for, more for work times. Now we go to a story on the great year the girls golf team is having this year. Check it out. Five of us. We have two freshmen, um, Olivia and Megan, one junior, Lily, and Kelsey and I. And um, this year is totally different because we have a team, so we can compete as a team instead of just individuals. And um, we have a lot of potential this year to go far. So for a tournament, what we do is we meet here really early in the morning, and we usually have bagels and um, we kind of do some team bonding in the van on the way there. We listen to some music and rock out with our coaches. And then when we get there, um, we warm up for like 30 minutes. And then we go out and play, which takes like six hours-ish. And then when we're done, we do awards and then we go to Sonic. It's tradition to go to Sonic. <laughs> and um, then we do some more bonding on the way home. for 
the team this year is to make it to state as a team. In the past, um, when we were freshmen and sophomores, we made it to state as a team, and last year Kelsey went as an individual, but this year we really want to go to state because it's a really fun bonding experience and it's a lot of fun to get to travel with the team. So I hope the girls make it to state this year. They got a lot of talent. I do too. I think they'll do a great job. And speaking of sports, we have Caden, Caden Williams here from the sixth grade here with us to talk about the Barstow Cross Country Meet. So Caden, you want to give us some of the results? Um, sure. For the varsity boys, Jay Gillen placed seventh and Tyler Gratwick placed 19th. Varsity girls, Michelle Martin placed 12th and Lauren Hendrickson placed 13th. Elizabeth Leach placed 15th. And for the middle school boys, there were 90 runners there, and out of those 90, Michael Babbitt got third place, Tyler Sabapathy got eighth, Miles Luce came in ninth, Mac, Pur Mac Purcell came in 20th, Gregory Norman came in 28th, and for the middle school girls, there were 75 runners there, and Claudia Vore came in 20th, Diana Heisel came in 27th, Sage Holmes came in 29th, Alexis Jefferson came in 30th, and Stella Call came in 31st. There was a lot, that was beautiful weather that day, so you want to talk to us a little bit about how that event was? Yeah, so um, it was really crowded there at the starting line and towards the middle. There was a lot of people there, so a lot of diff it was a lot more crowded than the first, one, first meet we had here. So I hear Diana and Sage uh, were both fifth graders, and they did really well and placed in the middle school event. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So like, how, was the, how, how do you think you did? Um, I thought I did pretty well. I beat my time by 20 seconds last year. I mean, not last year, but last time I ran it, I got 20, I got 20 seconds more, but this time it was better, so. Sweet. Congratulations. Awesome. The Pink Out game for volleyball to increase breast cancer awareness is October 22nd. Should be a great game, and it's for a great cause. Also, guess the number of jelly beans in the jar in the bookstore window win, and win the jar of jelly beans. Please also make a donation to the Susan G. Komen Foundation for each guess you make. The thing is, you have to be present at the game in order to win, so go support our Lady Knights. And speaking of the amazing things going on in the varsity community, Lissa Leapson is here with talking to me a little bit about the Operation Breakthrough Citywide Drive. So Lissa, you want to talk to us about that? Sure. So Operation Breakthrough is this great organization founded in 1971 to provide childcare for uh, inner city families. And uh, Barstow helps out with this drive. Our club runs a citywide food drive in order to help the families. We have six schools competing this year. There's Barstow, Pembroke, Rockhurst, Aquinas, Blue Valley Northwest, and Blue Valley Southwest. And each school is going to be stationed at a hen house the day of the drive, and they're going to run their own food drives. We're going to be selling these pre-made bags for $10, and we have 1,400 bags total, and our goal is to sell all the bags for Operation Breakthrough and Harvesters. How can someone get involved, like volunteer? Sure, so they can email me or uh, Andy Grabowski or Jeannie Brown, and we'd love to have as many volunteers as possible, and it's always a great event, and we hope to have a great event this year, too. Anything else you want to add? Yes. Um, on Thursday, for everyone volunteering, we're going to meet in the lunchroom. Uh, no, I'm sorry, in the library meeting room during lunch, uh, just for like 10 minutes to talk about details for the day and what you'll be required to do. So we're looking forward to that. Well, we hope you all enjoyed the show. I'm Lisa Liebson. And I'm Joey Penn. Have a good one, Barstow.